Hey everyone, I'm Martin. And I'm Shelly. And we are out here at our newest and most recent project, which is building a garden. Now, what we're really doing here is we're learning and teaching ourselves to beat the system. And uh, you may ask, well, what system are you talking about? I, say, I don't care. Any system that uh, that is constantly uh, strangling us with, um, you know, costs and expenses and things like that, like utility companies and and holy cow, have you been to the grocery store lately? <laughs> okay, so so we decided that when we moved down here on this place, which was almost exactly two years ago when we got our cabin livable, um, and we've been living in it kind of incomplete, but we're still living there. And um, we have been finding ways to learn to beat the system. And uh, we're gonna share some of those with you today. Actually, we're gonna just gonna talk about the garden area. Now, it may seem simple, about just going out and putting in a garden but we started out with a big wood lot and uh, we've cleared almost an acre of land out here it's about three quarters of an acre of trees and boulders and rocks and brush and all kinds of stuff in order to build our garden area and we're going to give a quick tour of that and Shelly's going to talk about what we're doing here to beat the system yeah all right <laughs> This is the most recent raised bed that we've done, homemade built out of cedar slabs. And it really is working. We've got mulch in the bottom, and then we've got this good dirt that we took off of our paved area. And we And are... when she says paved area, okay, we don't have a paved area down here. What we've got is the road where we brought the road in, and we scraped off the topsoil in order to put down the rock and uh, all that topsoil was nice and black. So that's what we're using for our garden dirt. Yeah, anyway, got this one. This one is a recent one and I'm going to be transplanting tomatoes on it because I've got, I've started tomatoes from the seed. Um, all right, over. so what do we got next? What do we got next is we've got cauliflower. It's not coming up because I just planted it. And we've got, um, arugula, some more carrots, and some peppers, and... And how many of these do we have? Onions, huh? How many of these do we have? I think we have 12. We've got 10, 10. of this size, which is four by eight. And by the way, um, we did a video specifically on how we built these raised beds, and uh, I'll put that in a link up here, or up there. I think it's up here. <laughs> Anyway, this is gonna get us food so we don't have to pay the grocery bill. I don't know, every time I turned around, I had to go buy lettuce and everything else. So I really am wanting to make my own food. And here we've got our cucumbers. We've got pickling cucumbers and just munching cucumbers. And already they're starting to come up. We're, and we're pretty early in our season. Um, we're in Southwest Missouri, whatever zone that is, I'm not sure. Got more green beans coming and some onions perimeter. All right, let's go up and look at this one up here. All right. Show me because this was up here. The oh yeah, what was this? These are green beans. I've been planting them at different segments so that we would have groceries all the time. Okay, and this one is the very first one we yeah. planted. This is spinach, and this is a mixture salad, and some lettuce, and these are cauliflowers that are already grown and of course these are onions and I've got my carrots coming up really good let's look at these up here all right and you know I like basil so I've got basil growing and that's flowers <laughs> this one was going to be designated to sweet potatoes but because I didn't get it ready in time we're going to make this into cantaloupe but we'll get that going and right over here, we definitely got zucchini just growing. They're going to town. We're gonna to beat the system of zucchini. And I told Martin that I wanted a designated area for my vines to spread out because these are gonna spread out. And these, this is our butternut squash. And so these, oh, I see one popping right here. Yep. Oh, there's one popping up. So also, we've got it intact, so deer cannot come in. Hopefully they won't jump this fence. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that, or yeah. we hope not. Yeah, anyway, uh, 
And Cook. it's a garden, so I guess yeah. we gotta have flowers. We gotta have flowers. I've gotta have some fun with that. So here's my tomatoes. I didn't get our greenhouse done in time, so I planted them in seeds. So they're kind of close together. So I will be spreading them around and putting them in that other bed there. So, so and so when we're talking about beating the system, we have pretty much got the, um, I mean, the garden is the one that we're working on right now. Uh, last year, well, actually the first uh, winter that we were here, uh, we got the heat thing taken care of. We've got a big firewood production deal going on down here. And so far we've just cut dead and dying trees off the place and haven't even made a dent in it. But we've got enough firewood right now, I think for three years. And we're also beating the system when it comes to water. This is gonna be a rainwater catchment system. That's gonna catch water off of the roof of the container. And we know we've got a spring down here too. I'm not sure if we're gonna to try to hack into that and pull spring water or not, but, uh, but it is there. And let's swing around here a little bit. This area that we've got kind of cleared out is where Going to be the greenhouse. That's going to be the greenhouse. And we've got uh, we've tackled the electrical grid, and right now we've got it dismantled because we're putting fence across here. But this area right down here is where all of our solar panels are going to go back up, and uh, they'll be facing uphill again to the to the south. Yep. And we got we're a lot gonna, of area where it is sunny here yep. so that'll be good so here's where the garden area is the three beds up in the corner the smaller ones those are four by four and then the four by eight beds that are down here and you know you may look at this and think well i don't have an acre certainly not an acre to dedicate to your garden but you know there's a lot of different ways you can do gardening i mean you can do hydroponics um, you can do which we're going to plan on doing some of that in the greenhouse and you can do a uh, container planting which um, i ran across a video the other day of a guy growing these huge carrots in plastic handbags of all things <laughs> so i mean there's a lot of things that you can do without having to just dedicate a huge spot like this and you can do traditional gardening as well yeah. and uh, it's just a matter of deciding you're going to beat the system and yeah. then get with it and do it Okay. The, these raised beds I decided to do because we have a lot of rocks in Missouri and they work out really good. Yeah, and they're cheap because we use those uh, cedar slabs. If you got a sawmill nearby, cedar's the best because it holds up to the weather and rot and decay. Um, and it turns out that each, sleeb, uh, each slab ends up costing about three cents per slab. So it's, uh, it's almost nothing. So we picked up this cool thing the other day that we've got on our hydrant down here. It is a one to four faucet manifold. So we can, uh, when we get the greenhouse hooked up, one of them will go to the greenhouse. One of them is gonna go to a flower bed that Shelly has on the other side of the driveway. And one of them is gonna go to the hose that goes to the garden. So start that thing up. And then when you're ready, that's all you do. I'll see if I can find a link where you can get one of these. Maybe this That too. is so cool. And this that thing, thing too. is really good. It's got shower, mist, soaker, cone, full, flat, center, jet. Okay. Whole bunch of different settings on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Look down in the description below and uh, for links for those things. So anyway, that's it. All right. We're learning to beat the system, and we're gonna do a we're gonna do a um, probably a playlist on that because there's a lot of ways that you can kind of uh, take control of your destiny as far as the costs that it just costs to live these days. And uh, and so we'll get into more of that later. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and come back and see us next time. Bye. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.